Good afternoon, everyone. We are at Las Vegas for SEMA 2024, showing off this beautiful Ford F100 full carbon by 612 Autoworks. We had the pleasure of helping them with doing a lot of the 3D modeling on some of the smaller components. We're gonna go over what we did, how we did it, and show you how the industry is revolutionized and innovating every year and to show you what it's like to customize cars today in 2024. So we're gonna start off on the front end of this truck to show you what we did. Um, normally, these trucks come with a 7-inch headlight, but we've decided to put a 9-inch Alpha X headlight in there for both functionality and looks. So, to accomplish that, we needed to remake these front headlight bezels so that way it could fit that 9-inch headlight. So, what we did was we scanned the old headlight bezel just to get the overall shape of it, scan the old grill so that way we can uh, match up our ends perfectly to the, the new grill. We added this little air duct component down here, not only for functionality, but for again, looks to break it up, to give it some depth and some overall design aspect. Um, now moving on to the grill, we modeled this grill off of a Land Rover and we kept this theme going throughout the rest of the build. You'll see it in the interior, you'll see it elsewhere in the truck, but we felt that recessing these headlights back a little bit and bringing this grill out really gave it some some character. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the other parts that we modeled on this truck and show you how we kind of incorporated it into the overall design of this. So another component we had to 3D model and print are these wide body fender flares. So we started out with a wireframe, scanned the wireframe and surfaced it to give us our, our overall design of the fender flare. If you look, we kept, kind of kept the lip of the original factory fender right here. We gave it a little swoop and sharpened that up a little bit. And then we added this side vent right here, which kind of replicates the Mustang GT350R that we have as a power plant in this truck. We started off, like I said, with a wireframe, scanned the wireframe, surfaced it. Then we 3D printed the, the fender flare in about 12 different pieces glued it together, body worked it, smoothed it, and then sent it off to our carbon guys where now we made a carbon fiber fender flare, replicated it for the, the left side of the truck, and then we also did the same process for the rears. The rears are a little different. We have some air ducts in it as well. Not like this, but different. So the next part we modeled were these mirrors that we started completely from scratch. We took the Mustang glass, turned it like this, and got this little look. So we had to retain the factory Mustang mirror glass motor and the factory glass. So we completely custom made these mirror cups and mirror arms to kind of fit the rest of the build. Um, these mirrors are made out of uh, carbon nylon to keep the rest of the carbon theme going. They're 3D printed, 3D modeled. We think it looks pretty cool on this build. So keeps the factory Mustang glass, factory Mustang motor, so we can actually adjust our mirrors and you know use it as a functional mirror. We're gonna go to some other parts on the truck that we modeled and created and uh, keep going. So we're looking on the interior now where we utilize our 3D printing skills. We needed to make an armrest that um, retain the factory window switches out of the Mustang because we're using the factory uh, window motors out of the Mustang. We basically took the F100 factory door arm and extended it so we can have a little pocket for our wires and that way we can use the factory grab handle or factory door handle of the F100. So again another reason why 3D printing is great in the interior is because you don't need that final finish and final product. We 3D printed this armrest in three different sections, screwed it and glued it, sent it to our upholsterer so that way he could wrap it in leather to match the rest of the interior. But just another area of automotive build where you know these new processes are coming to life and you can really help incorporate it into the build and speed up your building process and as well as your build quality. Guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We are gonna be back with more cool content, great projects, hopefully to inspire you with your build and show you what you can do nowadays with all this great technology out and hopefully we, you can build something sick that you can appreciate. So please comment, like, subscribe, share, do whatever you need to do, help us out. We'll be back with more great content and we are out.